little earlier this year, I got on a pony for the first time and had my initial skirmish with the game of polo. It was down at Val de Vie, Ray Knirtling's estate, and if you watched it, you would have seen I'm a natural. I'm quick on the horse, I'm agile, and it surely wasn't going to be much longer after that that I made my debut for South Africa. But the South African Polo Association still hasn't called. I'm a little disappointed, and so I've had to go for the next route, a trial with Team Uruguay. Oh, Santi, welcome to South Africa. Thank it's you great very to much. have you here. And you are the captain of the Uruguayan team. That, that kind of makes you like the Luis Suarez of polo. <laughs> I don't know if I bite like him, <laughs> but, um, but it's an honor to be here and uh, enjoying it. First time you've been to Africa? First time in Africa. Uh, only one of the, the team has ever been in Africa and Nigeria before. But, uh, so it's a new experience for, for all of us. Uh, but as I said, we're really happy, surprised with, with the hospitality of the South Africans and we're being treated like kings. So the purpose of today is for me to have a trial for Team Uruguay. I'm very disappointed that I'm not playing for South Africa. Before you see me playing polo, what, what would you think my chances are of making the team? Looking at you like that, none, none at all. But why don't you get on a horse and maybe you'll try and change my mind. <laughs> So if Santi is the non-biting Luis Suarez, here is the Diego Forlan of Polo. Uh, Maurizio, welcome. How are you? You retired me already. <laughs> He's retired. He's retired, all right. Well, you're not retired, you're playing, you're, you're part of this Uruguay team. Looks like you're having a great deal of fun in South Africa. Yeah, really good fun. Uh, the people here are great with us. Here we went all around South Africa, so. What about Polo in Uruguay, massive sport? Uh, no, it's not that massive as Argentina. We're, we're a small country, we're only three million people and like we have 200 players maybe around there. We're small, but we're, we're, we're tough. <laughs> what have you made of the quality of polo in South Africa? No, really good, eh? Um, they have good players, good horses. Uh, no, I was, I was surprised. Do you think I've got a chance of, of making Team Uruguay? Yeah, maybe, eh? you the arms, you have them. The, the shoulders, the TV on the legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mauricio's a lot more confident. I like him a lot more than I like Santi. Let's go and hit the horses and see how I do. All right, so before we get on the pony, a couple of bits and pieces to run through. First of all, Santi, I see you've been admiring my polo outfit. Yeah, thank you for bringing your boots already. Uh, maybe you should have asked in the shop if they had some for men. But You're uh, just jealous, they're... Santiago. Yeah, These yeah. are magnificent. Maybe. Well, they uh, they look very good with my, uh, and we've got to get the terminology here right, my polo racket, uh, which I'm ready to get going with. Polo mallet. Polo mallet, that's yeah. what I said. Uh, <laughs> talk me through the grip here, Maury. Well, the grip, have you ever played tennis? I have. You know the, the grip is like this, similar, uh -huh. really similar. Like you're shooting a gun, maybe. Yep. Okay. And then you have to do like one, one, two, and up there. Up there. And then you let it drop and follow through, like tennis. All right, like tennis. Now you heard earlier that uh, Santi's grandfather came out and played here in 1867. <laughs> uh, this is actually the mallet he used, and it hasn't had any work done on it since. All right, I've got the boots, I've got the mallet, I've got the grip. Time to jump on a horse. Let's go. So one of the key things about playing polo is the sense of style and elegance, and that translates into getting onto your pony, and elegantly mounting a pony is what I'm all about. As I say, it's all about elegance. All right, well, Mori and I are going to go and have a knock about. Uh, a few last thoughts on the art of polo? Uh, maybe get all the strengths comes with your, from here. So, yeah, yeah. so all of your strength comes from your abs <laughs> and your core? I should be fine, really. Yeah, man. You've got to hit the round thing. It's called a ball, you try and hit it. Uh, much better, much better, yeah. Ten seconds to go in the final of the okay. tournament. The match is drawn. Dan's got the chance to get Uruguay a big win here in South Africa. He's got a penalty. I'm not confident he's even going to hit the ball. Even less, I don't think he's even going to reach the goal if he does hit it. But let's see how he, did, yeah, how he does. So far, so good. Mauricio's doing his best to keep up with me, and he's, he's doing all right. I'm having a little bit of problem with my pony, but I've just realized why. He only speaks Spanish, so we're struggling. Nice one. Good. Nice. 
Oh, there we go. Uh, a little sluggish start, but did finish with a penalty goal. I think I'm about 50-50 here as to whether or not I make the Uruguay team. There's like a nuclear disaster in Uruguay and all three million people die. Maybe you'll get a chance of playing with us. Maybe. All right, so not quite what I was hoping for, but there's still an outside chance. Perhaps my international polo future is there after all.